lovely crisp morning we've got here. So uh, I've come back to my usual place. Uh, that's where I found my scooter, and there uh, down there is where I found my uh, samurai katana blade thingy. So uh, wait a minute, this is not. There we go. That's better. Um, so we're just gonna have a quick tickle here. Let's see if we can find some treats. Right, so as always, ladies and gents, <coughs> me personally and the other Patriots, um, we use disposable gloves. You can get these from b and M. I don't know, one ninety nine for about 200 of them. Nice and cheap. Uh, safety as well, I've got my magnet store gloves. Uh, put a link up, uh, put a link in the description actually below to try and get these and uh, the decent as well. That's what helped me pull my um, moped up with, you know, the strong, durable. So I'm going to use them from now on. Um, this is from b and I think they're about six quid or something. So it's easy to carry. It's got a strap and a handle for you to carry. Two buckets, one for rubbish, one for fines. My trusty pole and my little um, mallet and my scraper there. I've got my 500 kg and my 1000 kg. Double-sided, single-sided, double-sided. Um, both from Magnet Store, you know the store, um, you know the stuff where I get it from. I'm only using their stuff, uh, I've never used anyone else's because I think they're the best and I always will do. Um, and we've got my truck and me bin to put all the rubbish in. As you can see, nothing in there at the moment, rubbish lying around. And um, I have done to the right side before and I've done to the left side, so I'm going to do this little bit here. So let's see what we can get. So I'm going to start with my 500 first actually, because when I was here last time, I think I only had my, I think a single, it was in my earlier videos anyway, and um, I'll see if I can dig some up, it is in my playlist, if you have a look at my playlist in the uh, top corner, um, have a look at them, my old videos. <laughs> Um, started off doing everything you know the way I wanted to do it I don't think I've ever changed that much uh, apart from introducing um, other Patriots and introducing a lot of people to magnet fishing family and friends and also um, with magnet store and um, obviously They've helped me out a lot, which I appreciate, because I only use their products because I first bought this, tested it out, and I thought, what an amazing magnet. So obviously I, um, I continued using it, contacted them, and uh, the rest is history. So there you go. Grapple look is essential, I believe because I wouldn't have got them the scooter out without them so we're gonna see what we can get today only out for a couple of hours because that's the only time I've got spare it's only a small ledge this so let's see what we can do it's gonna I might go around the edges first actually do a quick edge dip because you can always tell if things are in there and um, if it's been done before because you just check the edges you know and obviously you've got to drag it towards the edge you never know do you you never know what people leave and what they take all right so i'm going to do a little edge dip Straight away, it's locked onto something right in front of us. Is that the side? I think it is something. And there we go. First thing is something that I ain't got a clue of. It's solid anyway, so that's going in the bucket. And then one of these discs that we see quite a lot of 
So I'm going to go down that area again because <coughs> I'm sure there was something else. Uh, I don't know what that is, but that's been down there for quite a long time. As is probably most of this stuff. We're not going to give up until this, whatever it is, is out. It becomes a little challenge now, doesn't it? If you work away all the metal schlag, as Mrs B calls it, and you get to see your little prize. Whatever it is, it's stuck in that silk good. Never give up, ladies and gents, never give up. Just keep at it. If in doubt, pull it from the other side. Just work its way out. Like I said, we have got a lip on here, so it might be caught on the lip as well. It's got some lip on it. Let's keep at it. And eventually, it will lift up. Like so, and that, I believe, is off a trailer. Is it a jockey wheel, that bit? It's different, isn't it? A bit of rope on it, why, is it, why have we got rope on it? What's all this about here? Why is it weighing something down? I'll have a bit of that, won't we? That'll go in there. First bit of trailer wheel I found. Like I say, ladies and gents, just keep working at it. And then <coughs> go in the same spot because it looks like it will weigh something down. Whether that'll be magnetic or not's a different story, isn't it? Spoon, bottle cap, and this looks like it's off a patio door. Piece of metal, don't know what that is, that'll get a clean up. Spike. Morning, you alright? Have a penny. And just a bit of rubbish. To me, ladies and gents, it's the fun of getting out and about. <coughs> doing something you enjoy there's now worse than wasting your time 
time is a precious thing so get out and about and do stuff that you love a bit of Scotty philosophy there That's for the rubbish. We have a spiker with metal on it. Don't know, we'll have a look at that. Some uh, scissors. IKEA, treat yourself. Um, a bit of metal that'll go in the rubbish. And if uh, you'd like to follow me on social media, I'll put a my um, usual hashtag Patriot Magnets up, just type that in Google or uh, just follow the sites that are advertised. Your feedback is definitely needed. It's another one of them spikes, I don't know what these are, but we'll, uh, we'll have a closer look at them. That's a bit of rubbish. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And uh, appreciate your comments, appreciate if you're subscribed, appreciate your likes, your dislikes, you know. Appreciate you stopping by and having a look. Oh, it's clicking on something there. I don't know if that's. It's our first little knife, I don't know why it's bent like that. Weird. Tiny knife that. And a lovely Queen's penny. Right, a bit we don't know. A bit. Oh, that is off an old bucket. That's cool, that. Keep that. Hello. This video will be up in a couple of weeks. How's it? Back now? Yeah, it's recording. In fact, actually, let me pull this up a bit. Do you want to be on the video? Okay. Well, you're not bothered? No. There you go. Say hi, you. Hello. Two new subscribers there. Yeah. Right. Cheers, lads. Yeah. Have a good one. See you later. Match Pro. Cool, we'll have that. Oh, yes. The windless. I'll have that, won't we? So we'll have a closer look and just some rubbish. Oops. Got this here, it's just quite fragile. We'll have a closer look at that, I think. Nice battery there, sonar, battery pack, nails, oh, that's a little key, I love that. The 
another key or keys. There we go. Get all these leaves off. A bolt. Yeah, I thought that was. It's another key. Right, we found some cracking stuff today. And uh, let's go straight to the clean up and see what some of the items are that we uh, couldn't identify. So we're back from his little solo expedition. A couple of hours out as usual. And this is what we got to offer. And over here is the other stuff. Yeah, so we'll just start with this first. Right, this looks like it's a piece of a machinery. Uh, probably a drill bit. Don't know. No markings on it. Anybody that's into engineering know what that is? Got a Sony battery. Uh, lithium. You can only get these in laptops. Battery pack NPF550 Lion. <coughs> there we are. Got this bolt. That's an old one. That's quite a modern one. That's just a bolt. Nothing on them ones. This looks like it's part of a gate. That the gate will sit on. A couple of holes. There we go. And there we got a couple of washers. And a nut. This is interesting because it was just a, a mass of um, just iron, but you could see a bit of brass in it. So, not sure where that sits or belongs, but a couple of brass bits. Well, that might be just one solid one going all the way through. There we go, that's cool. Yeah, what we got? This was just a ball of rust as well. So, quite heavy that. It's obviously some sort of machinery. Or used for something. Like it's been cut because it's all uneven. We've got um, a bent knife, which for people who know why it's bent, you know. And it says here, uh, stainless steel, Sheffield. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't have anything on it. And these scissors has got IKEA stainless steel. <coughs> Usual bottle caps that we collect on our journey. Uh, four one piece, a ten pence and a two. That's our money for our little couple of hours. There you go. This little keyring. Share a coke with. Well, share it with Patriot Magnets. Got some keys here. It's got our initials PJ on it for that one. And these ones, I've got something written on them, but I can't tell what they are. Got some numbers on that one. 
Mm. Probably need a further scrub back. This is cool. This key. It's got the number two. And it says Union, because Union's are quite a universal make. It's got CA373 on it. If anybody knows anything about keys and that, just give us a shout. Drop a comment. Chaff canister has always got to make an appearance. Right, so you've got the modern day nail. you got the really old square nails. That's cool, that. Cleaned up right good, that. And then this little baby one. That's a nice little sign as well. Different sizes of screws. Right, this item here when it come up I did think it was some sort of blade I'm still thinking it is because of this bit here how it's thin you might just be able to see it there how it comes to some indentations there so it is fist size to hold but obviously minus wood um, could be an old chopper machete that it's straight all the way along but then curved so this bit here, I'm thinking could have been bigger. Um, don't know. Maybe this bit, don't know. But I'm quite happy with that. Needs a bit more work going on it. But you can tell the way it's pitted as well, which you do get on some metal work, old, to do with blades, axes and all that. Yeah. It's quite smart that. No initials on it or anything. Speaking of stamped items, this come up is just like, you know, the block. But I found out it's got a hole in it, either side. And I don't know where it sits. But if you have a look here, it actually says... I don't know if that says Briar. B-R-I-E-R. -E and it's got 6, 5. And I think that's the number 4 there. And then underneath it, it says Barnes, and it's got 8-3. I believe there's a number there or something, and then it's got either a 1, so it goes round, and then a number 8. Like it's been st stamped a bit wonky. So if anyone can help me with that. Always check what you've got, because, you know, that could have just been thrown to one side. Might be rubbish to people, but... I like finding stuff with stamped items on. It's cool that I'm going to look that up. So if I find anything to do with it, I'll put it there now. You know me, I'll always check. <coughs> this looks like an old fire bucket handle. Nice this, with the old uh, bit of bucket on there. Cleaned up alright that. Unfortunately we've only got one side of it. This, I obviously thought it was some sort of uh, ammunition uh, with it being bullet shaped and the same size. Um, it obviously is fixed there so it's been narrowed down but it is to a point which is quite weird. And it is hollow so I'm, I've not got a clue about that. And uh, the more I bang it, you know, the, the less I'm getting off on here so I need to soak that. So any ideas on that ladies and gents? And we've got this windlass, old one as well. That's got a notch in it there, never seen one like that. And it has got some inscription there, which I can't make out. Probably needs a bit of electrolysis this, to try and get that. But uh, if anyone can help me out with that one, much appreciated. And we have the 
whip pole. Be for fishing. And a 40 metre one. And then we've got the jockey wheel from a trailer. And then just some off cuts here. That big thing there. That is just an off cut. I'll go to scrap guy that. This is everything else. So thank you again for watching and uh, much appreciated to the new subscribers. So uh, take care and we'll see you on the Rochdale Canal.